Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Lily and for those of you who are returning viewers, thank you so much for dropping by today. For today's video, I wanted to talk about the Louis Vuitton 6 key ring holder compared to the Leatherology 6 key ring holder. Just to kind of give you my thoughts on them because I do have both. I actually acquired the Leatherology one recently. They're both 6 key rings. As we all know, there is a big price difference between the two. So I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on what I think, you know, whether which one is worth it. But yeah, that's going to be today's video. So if you're interested, please stay tuned, grab a cup of coffee, beverage, tea, whatever is your favorite drink, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to start off with the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder, uh, just because this one is uh, the oldest one in my collection. In my current collection, I have only two six key ring holders. Um, one is the Louis Vuitton one that I've had for a very long time, but the other one is the new one I just received, and we will talk about it today. But basically, this one um, is in the traditional monogram. It is in the canvas material. I've had this since 2018, so it's been about six years or a little bit more now. But for this one, I have for a period of at least a couple years used it every single day. My car is still the one with the traditional key insertion. It's, I don't have a key fob, so how I've been using it is I would have the key attached to here. And then I would basically um, have this sit from, basically the key would be in the uh, ignition and then it would just kind of hang like this, which I guess maybe isn't the most ideal. So I just wanted to share that so you know that I've actually really, really used this a lot. Um, in the past couple years, I've taken a break from it. I definitely haven't used this in the past two years at the very least. Um, and we can see that there is a little bit of wear to it. Um, this one, as you can tell, it has the gold hardware, but you can see that it's definitely worn quite a bit. There is some silver peeking through this gold, just because this is how you would close and open this little uh, key case. So, you know, you're obviously touching around here a lot. And I mean, it's still not too bad, but yeah, definitely we can see where. And then when you open this, you know, this is obviously all canvas material, so it's very malleable. I do have this engraved with my, um, with my initials here, oops, upside down. And then, um, you know, you can obviously get that done at the shop, but basically this part is removable. So what's nice about this one is that you can remove this out and then you like basically take out each one of these and you can put your keys on here. There are six of them and um there maybe one of them's maybe a little bit looser than the other ones just because of my car key it's a little thicker so it's probably deformed it a little bit one thing i really really like about this is the fact that there is this back pocket so if you wanted to keep your driver's license or your credit cards and you just want to have everything in one little um, you know, one little unit here that works very well. Unfortunately, if you do lose this, which, you know, let's knock on wood, no one does. Um, whoever finds it will have all of your information. So that's also not a good thing, but you know, just, it's just very convenient. It's very compact and it's really nice. And I do really recommend this. If you kind of want to dabble in the luxury, of good realm. Um, this is a very nice starter piece um, as well as the key clay, uh, which actually might work better because that one, the clay, the Louis Vuitton clay actually has um, a little key ring thing that you could attach your keys to and could put credit cards inside. This one is primarily just a, um, you know, obviously a six key ring holder. But like I said, I've used this a lot and I think it's still in pretty good condition. You know, there is a little bit of like, uh, it does kind of go up a little bit. It's not super flat on the edges, but I mean, it's still in very good condition. There is no peeling of any sort and I have just basically kind of abused this. So I'm really happy. I don't remember what I got this for, but I'm assuming the prices have gone up over the years. Currently on the website, it does retail for 330 USD. So that's kind of what we're looking at for this one. Now, the other one I want to talk about in this video uh, is my most recent item, which is from Leatherology, and this is my six key ring holder. Now, as you can notice immediately, there is quite of a difference in terms of the material. Um, this is full leather, and it's very, very nice leather, honestly. Obviously, this is canvas, and this is what the front and the back looks like. And this is currently packed, so obviously it is thicker, but if you were to pack the Louis Vuitton one, um, you know, it would get thicker as well. There are some key differences right off the bat, um, aside from the leather. Um, this one I don't have engraved, but if you do want to engrave it, you have the option. You pay $15 extra and you can engrave it, but I didn't see the need for it. The price of this one, though, is so much better. I checked the website. They're currently still on sale, so go and uh, take a look if you're interested. These are currently $45. They're on sale. I think normally they're like $65 or something. 
So I think it's a really, really good price for a full leather. It's also very, very soft. It's very smooth. It's really high quality. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Now the difference here, as you notice, is that this is a one button closure. For this one, it's a two button closure. So uh, the other thing is that this does come in silver hardware. So if you like a gold, um, I don't think there's any options for gold, but they do come in different colors. I just wanted the red because I thought it was a nice pop of color. Um, so this is what it looks like when you open it. Again, all leather. And what's very similar is that this one does also have a back pocket. So very similar to the Louis Vuitton one, where if you want to keep your cards or anything, um, you could definitely just slip that here. And it does not, it will not come out. I do have like a little picture in here and it's obviously not coming out. What I really, really like about this one now, I will say is definitely this part on the bottom. As we saw in the Louis Vuitton one, there is no bottom portion to it, so you can't really, you know, stick anything there. This one has a bottom portion, and this would be great if you wanted to stick your key fobs here. I don't have a key fob at the moment, but um, I plan to get one. And so this one right now I'm using for my um, Apple AirTag. And again, I do highly recommend having these on your keys just in case you lose them. But yeah, this is how I have it sort of organized right now. There are also six key rings here. Now I will say that you notice how large my car key is, right? So I have to put it through this little um, sort of a chain key ring here just to be able to hook it in here. I had originally tried to stick it here. And unfortunately I had broke off one of the clasps. So I just basically removed it and basically just uh, sealed it back together and put my little um, my little thing here, so my little charm here. I just have my, you know, all my keys in here. Uh, so it fits if you keep it like this. And what I like to do is because if I do this, um, I just have three keys here, by the way, in that charm. Um, you know, this kind of like comes out, so it kind of defeats the purpose if you don't want to scratch your bag. So what I like to do is I actually fold this back up and then I do this and it's able to fit perfectly and then i don't have any keys protruding so that's also an option but yeah i think this is so great it's such a nice material very smooth beautiful leather it doesn't really have too much of a smell it doesn't have like a strong leather smell to it but 40 for 45 dollars i think it's not bad it does have the uh leatherology um debossed is it debossed into it and yeah, just very, very nice. So I think this is a really, really great buy. If you just want something that's made out of genuine leather, that's good quality, that has the functionality that the um, Louis Vuitton clay has, or not clay, sorry, Louis Vuitton um, six key ring holder has, but not the price tag. Again, $45, $330, right? We see a big difference plus the tax difference, of course, um, if you live in a state that charges tax, sales tax. So do I recommend this? Yes, highly. But if you really want to delve into luxury goods, I think that you know this is a pretty nice starter piece. Um, but honestly, for me right now, I feel like if I were to go back, would I get this one? I don't know, maybe. It has some sentimental value. This was actually, um, I got this because I was inspired by one of my former colleagues. She had one and I really liked it, so I got it in 2018. But this one honestly does the job just as well and it has extra features like this which i think is pretty awesome i think one thing i forgot to mention real quickly is how the key ring kind of works here remember the louis vuitton one you have to take it off you just kind of pop it in this one is like a kind of clasp situation it's very very um strong so you don't need to worry about your keys coming off but yeah there's a lot of resistance when i push back against it so again six of them you can put your keys on here i still have two of them that are open yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video on this topic. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it and I'm quite happy using this. I think it's a, you know, again, really nice alternative if you want something similar. So I hope you enjoy this video. And um, honestly, if you have either of these, let me know how you're liking them, if you find any differences, uh, whatnot. But otherwise, thank you so much for dropping by. As always, if you like the video, please give me a like. And if you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing if you like this type of content. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, please stay healthy, happy, and safe. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.